my name is Piper Christian. I'm 24 years old and a recent graduate of the University of Utah. I studied environmental and sustainability studies with a minor in political science and a certificate in GIS. Um, and I'm really passionate about using mapping and GIS to study environmental health issues. In sophomore or junior year, I was beginning to grow interested in mapping and GIS um, and really wanted to find ways to expand upon my environmental studies degree um, and get some transferable skills to work in the environmental field and TIFO became a huge inspiration and resource for that effort. My initial introduction to working with them was through something that um, Casey Bartram organized along with Ian and Margaret called Meeting of the Mappers. So they got together connections that they had from all over the world, um, folks working in environmental science and GIS, and we all got together via Zoom, it was over the pandemic, and talked about mapping applications for environmental issues. And I just remember feeling so inspired, like I had been exposed to a toolkit that made so much sense to me, GIS, um, that mapping could be a way to communicate the location of environmental issues, as well as disparities, and really provide evidence that supports the lived experience of so many people. I think was a valuable lesson from TIFA was the importance of um, that when we work in the environmental health field, we should bring not only informing, we should not only inform a community of the environmental health hazards that they may be facing, but always be cautious to pair that information with um, tools and resources on how they can remediate their exposure, things they can do to make their circumstances better. Um, we had the opportunity to present on research that we were working on and get feedback from folks who were in the field already working on environmental health and other issues. And it was just so cool to see all of the diverse paths that we had taken and learn from my peers and also get uh, feedback from people in the field who I really respected. They invested in me as a young environmental scientist and environmentalist, invested in building my skills so that I could go into my community and use GIS and other scientific applications to address issues in my area. And I saw them do that with so many other young people um, from around the country and around the world. Um, they have such a wealth of information and resources, and they were so willing to make the time to help us as young professionals build our own skills so we can address environmental health issues in our community. I think that's one of their strong suits is they're very patient and happy to take on brand new um, students and um, you know cartographers and walk us through the process. <laughs>